Hey guys, uh, welcome to the Daily Bits. I'm glad you're here, glad you're stopping by. I'm trying to keep this short. Hopefully it's not a 13 minute long Daily Bits. Um, it's been a roller coaster of a day today, actually. Um, yeah, it's been a roller coaster of a day. I, I, you know, we woke up this morning, uh, hung out with uh, Mrs. Bits' mo mom, uh, filmed my first um, bits and places. Uh, I'm gonna have that open hopefully next week sometime, um, and spent the rest of the day with uh, my mom and my stepdad. Um, I really don't know. It's hard for me to talk about it, but I need to. I need to. I think it's healthy for me to talk about it because it's important. It's important. And I know you guys might be sick of it. Um, it's a lot. It's, it's a lot to be somber. But it is my life that I'm dealing with, and it's a, it's a big thing. So I at least want to talk about it a little bit. And, you know, I, I literally say the same things every time I talk about it, right? Um, you guys know. You guys know about my stepdad. Uh, I, I, I got to see him today. I haven't got to see him in about a week or so. Um, I haven't talked to him for a few days. Uh, last time I talked to him, he could barely really talk to me. Um coherently at least and today you know I sit in there with him for a good 15 20 minutes uh, talking with him he was watching a western just laying down in the bed um, you could see like how skinny he is he's lost so much weight like and it get, keeps on he says he's gaining weight um, there's enough in him like mentally to know where he, he knows who I am um, I think he does has, has these dizzy spells, but at this point, hospice is coming in. They've been coming in. Um, the nurses are coming in, they're helping him. Family's coming in. Pictures, right? I, I know I'm jumping everywhere. We take pictures to remember things. Um, everybody wonders if there's such thing as a time machine. And the closest thing we have to a time machine is our cameras. A camera takes a picture that we can look back at a memory and we can either have the fondest of memories or traumatic memories. Um, you know, some people look at pictures of love, and some people look at it with hate and vitriol. I don't have enough pictures of me and my stepdad. I don't. I don't have. I don't have enough pictures of me and my family. I don't. I have a lot of pictures, of stupid things. I have a lot of pictures of me and my wife, which is great. But I don't have a lot of pictures of me and my mom. Uh, my stepdad, my real dad, uh, my brother. And I think that's important. I think pictures are very important. It's that, it's that digital footprint. It's that digital heartbeat. It stays with you. Um, more than you know. More than you know. You can, you know, 10 years from now, open up uh, Facebook or whatever. Whatever the new... Uh, social network is or whatever social network you're on or whatever camera you had your phone uh, your picture album you go back and you look at it and it brings up like I said good memories or bad memories I want to try to get some more pictures of me and my stepdad you know my mom was showing me some pictures of uh, a lot of family members coming by getting their last what well, may be their last pictures with this man and I was sad to look at these because just you know in his mind he's thinking this is this may be the last time I see these people 
And it's scary. Like, it's scary to think that. I, you know, I never thought about that stuff whenever I was in a bad spot. But I wish I had more pictures with him. I wish I did. Like, I, I wish I had more pictures of me and my mom, me and my grandpa and grandma, which we I have some, not many. I think I the only couple of pictures I have of me and my grandpa, <laughs> like, I don't know if I have any pictures of me and uh, my grandma playing around. Uh, I had this, I had this video whenever she was in hospice, um, she was off life support and everything. And it was, um, I, I can't find it anymore. I, I had it in my phones for years. I had it on iCloud forever and I can't find it anymore. I think it's completely gone. Um, this man came in and he was playing guitar, uh, still guitar while she was, uh, laying in the bed like those she she was there but she wasn't there like she couldn't talk she couldn't communicate um there was no life support or anything like that and that's gone and it, it kind of hurts a little bit because i you know i had things that you know i lost like uh obituaries uh some bullets from my grandpa's funeral for where he was a veteran you know, I don't have any of that stuff anymore. It's all gone. I lost it. Lost most of it whenever uh, I was going through a l rough patch. Um, that's terrible because it's things I should have been able to keep. I just hope maybe I can get some more pictures in with me and my stepdad because, yeah, I like to remember him. I wish I had like some videos of him and him talking. Here's a weird thing. I don't remember what my grandpa and grandma sounds like. I know that sounds sounds crazy. Uh, it's been almost a decade since I lost them. But I don't have any videos or anything of them talking to me. I, I wish I would have had that. I wish I would have had that. So I guess the I guess the whole thing to this one is if you're able to use a camera video or recording or anything like that try to get as much as you can you know i drive i drive mrs bits crazy i constantly uh making videos of her like constantly she's like why are you doing that i just want all those moments with her because i don't know when you know if i go before her or if she goes before me or something like that. I at least want to be able to have those moments with her. And I wish I did with my stepdad. I'm going to try to work on it as much as I can. Try to anyways. But I kind of wanted to get that out. I know it was kind of a sad one. And I shouldn't be... Uh, it shouldn't have been sad. I'm, you know. But anyways guys I love you very much. Hit that subscribe button. Uh, and just remember, people love you. People care about you. You might not think they do, but they do. You're worth it. You're worthy. My wife tells me this every day I go to work. Before I go out the door, she says, you're worthy. You're worth it. Um, and that's what you guys are. You guys are worthy. You're worth it. People love you. I love you. I don't even know you. I love you. So it might be something. It might be worth something. Some fat guy on the internet. <laughs> Alright guys, I'll, I'll see you later.